Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Mary Creative Co. In this tutorial I want to show you a quick and easy way how to create a gingham pattern using Adobe Photoshop. Let's get started. Open Photoshop to create a new artboard. I'm going to use 60 by 60 pixels. You can use whatever size you want, but make sure that you have a square. If you are going to use it for web, so the resolution will be 72 pixels per inch and the color mode RGB. If you will use the pattern for printing, the resolution should be 300 pixels per inch and the color mode CMYK. Make sure that the background content is set to transparent. Press Ctrl plus to zoom in our artboard. And now let's choose the colors for our pattern. First choose the foreground color. I want to choose white for it. And my background color will be this bright mind color. Now select the gradient tool and make sure that we are going from the foreground to the background color. Also choose the linear gradient, blend mode is normal and the opacity is 100%. Now we are going to do this. Hold down shift, click and on a 45 degrees angle going from the lower left corner to the upper right corner. Now let's go to filter distort wave. Make sure that the type is set to square. With a 60 pixel square, the number of generators has to be at least 2 to get it done right. As the size of our artboard is 60 pixels, our minimum wavelength should be 60. And you can see that the maximum will be automatically moved to the minimum plus 1. I'm going to drag the top bar over to the right, which will also drag the bottom bar. And you will see it's just flattened out right here. It doesn't matter if I move my amplitude up or down. We want to make sure that it's flattened out. Also make sure that the repeat angle pixels is active and click OK. Now go to select all, then go to edit define pattern. Give a name to your pattern and click OK to save it. Let's test it out. Create a new document, select the paint bucket tool and now choose the pattern. Open the drop-down box and select our new pattern. Click on the art button to fill it. So it's our brand new Gingham pattern. Let's test how our pattern will look live. Open the mock-up you want and apply our new pattern. Ok, cool. Thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel to see more tutorials. See you, goodbye.